I'm Chef Mike Moses, welcome to my kitchen. And today we're diving into a delightful dish that wraps comfort and tradition in one tasty package. It's Finn and Hattie, a classic Scottish meal that will bring the coasts of Scotland right to your kitchen. Finn and Hattie is a dish where the story is rich as its flavor. Originating from the town of Finden in Scotland, or Finnan as it is traditionally called, this recipe features smoked haddock, an ingredient that's been cherished since the 1800s. Though we didn't call it that, we called it Finn Hattie. Anyhow, my mother taught me the secrets, and today I'm going to show you how to cook this smoky, buttery fish dish to utter perfection. Here's what you'll need. Two smoked haddock fillets, a cup of cream, a cup of water, three tablespoons of butter, and a pinch of pepper. And for the sides, well, classic mashed potatoes, of course, and maybe some green peas. So one of the things we should get going is, of course, the mashed potatoes. And we're gonna do that, we're gonna use two russet potatoes, and I'm going to slice them up. And if you're wondering why I'm using a knife to peel my potatoes, these are old potatoes. I mean old as in last season, so they're not brand new. And I don't know why, but the quality of potatoes lately has not been that great. There's been some brown spots on them. Uh, when they get them in the field, they spike them with a fork by mistake. These are just about a quarter of an inch in thickness. Let's get our fish ready for poaching. Now, this method is fantastic for enhancing the haddock's natural flavors without overpowering. We're gonna take our pot and we're gonna set the temperature to about 90 degrees Celsius. That's about 195 degrees Fahrenheit. We want it just under the boiling mark. We don't wanna boil the haddock because it's already been cooked, smoked, it's ready to go. And we're gonna add a cup of cream, a cup of water, and our three tablespoons of butter. Let that come up to temperature and melt the butter. And you may notice I have more than two fillets of haddock. It's hard to buy two fillets. So I bought four or five. Actually, I bought six or seven. This is, this is what's left over. I like some Finn Hattie. We don't add any salt. We don't add any pepper. So there's lots of salt in the haddock. The pepper, we'll use that for finishing. All right, the butter has melted. Our mashed potatoes are ready to go. Let's put in the haddock. And we'll just put in two fillets. One. And two. Make sure that they're covered in the poaching liquid. And that's gonna poach for probably two to five minutes, depending upon the heat. I can see steam coming out of the pot, which is nice. And all I really want to do, like my mom said, is just reheat the fish. Well, our haddock is perfectly poached now. We're going to remove it from the heat. We'll just put it on the stove top for a moment as we get ready to plate. So let's do this in one foul swoop. And we're talking fish, not foul. So we'll take our mashed potatoes. And these are russets and they're really sticky. I, I love russets for mashed potatoes. I want to make a bed for the fish. Let me take our slotted spoon and we gently, and I mean gently, take our fish out of the poaching liquid. Put one fillet there. Come on, fill it. Be nice to me. The other fillet on top. Take our peas. Put them on the dish. And the fun part, oh, actually, this is the best tasting part. We take some of the smoky, we just pour it on top. And if you're like me, a little bit more. Finish with a little bit of pepper. And there you have it, Finn Hattie, or 
Finn and Hattie. Finn and Hattie isn't just food, it's a piece of Scotland heritage. And here in New Scotland or Nova Scotia, it's also part of our heritage. Traditionally served for breakfast, this dish has warmed many a morning with a comforting embrace. Whether you're looking for a hearty start to your day or a satisfying dinner, it adapts beautifully. If you enjoyed this dive into Scottish cuisine, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more delicious adventures and share this recipe with a friend who loves a hearty meal. Have questions or want to share your experience making Finn Hattie? Leave a comment below. I love hearing from you. Until next time, keep cooking with heart. For more information on this recipe, head over to my website, www.chefmikemoses.com. You'll find I have a blog there with recipes you can print off. Of course, some, some thoughts from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm here to help you cook better, eat healthier, shop smarter.